the one everyone's watching and the one everyone is talking about. Now, it's Monday morning, it's quarter past seven on Monday morning, and I thought I'd just pop up to see who was about. Uh, there was a lot of talk very recently about the Scotty McClure breakfast show. As you know, the big show that we have Sunday at 10 o'clock sharp, so you'll always see Scotty McClure at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night. And last night was the 51st show. So there we are, 51 live shows, Scotty McClure live, for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. And over the last year since we started doing Facebook Live, there's been talk about a breakfast show in the morning. People say, would you like to see Scotty McClure doing a breakfast show in the morning? Well, we haven't actually discussed that yet, of course, but what I thought I'd do today is pop up just to say hi, to wish you all a lovely, lovely Monday morning. I hope you have a great day and I hope you have a great week. But I thought I'd also see who was about, just in case we actually chose to do a breakfast show at some point. Maybe just 15 minutes or half an hour of what's happening in the world. A bit of chat, something a little bit jolly, nothing too down and too depressing. And uh, no great adverts for serious illness or anything like that. So that's what we're talking about there. Uh, VJ is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, VJ. I don't know if I can handle this at this time in the morning, says VJ. Well, I don't know if I can handle it at this time in the morning, VJ, but I thought what I'd do is pop up just to remind people to share, 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 share last night's program. Right? Now, I know there was football uh, and all sorts of distractions, but Scotty McClue is unmissable. Never miss a moment of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. So there we are. We don't want to do that. Whoever has McClue has the market, of course, the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. Excellent stuff. A shout out, says Shally Brown. All right, Scotty, how are you doing? A shout out for Jack Patterson, says Graham Bett. Dinky do, Graham. Of course we can have a shout out for Jack Patterson. So there we are. Missed it last night, sharing on True Radio, says Henry Newton. Henry, it's there, it's on Facebook, it's on YouTube, so do catch up. You'll see it if you just scroll down. You'll see it on Scotty McClure's Facebook page, so you're never without the Scotty McClure show. Uh, VJ says, uh, JK, that's fantastic, lovely, lovely stuff, and a very warm welcome to everyone, of course. Nice to see you all joining me at this time in the morning, and uh, as I say, if you miss a Scotty McClure show on a Sunday night, you'll always be able to catch up during the week, right? So keep watching out for it. Morning, Scotty, just finishing my night shift, says PJ Curry. Excellent, PJ. I'm just checking who's about at this time of the morning, because I say it's been mooted that we might be doing a Scotty McClue breakfast show just for you, saying dinky-doo. True Radio is sharing your stream, says Henry Newton. That's fabulous, Henry. Excellent. Keep it share, 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 share. And uh, we've got a lot of radio stations interested in sharing the Scotty McClue stream, certainly the Sunday night one at 10 o'clock shop. It is huge. And, of course, it's global. So we've got people in America, China, Japan, all watching there, having a great time. My screen and audio is frozen. Ah, you're needing to update your equipment in case you miss a second of Scotty McClue. That's what I say. MT O'Neill's watching. MT Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue, first thing in the morning. It's, uh, what time is it? Yes, well, just after quarter past seven on Monday morning. You won't be used to seeing it this time. Mines are fine, says Shani Brown. So Shani Brown's screen is absolutely fine. And of course, all the best. I'm not a political animal, as you well know, but all the very best to the SNP for their conference. And a big, big thank you to them for the wonderful way they've run Scotland over the last 10 years. Obviously, there's always things can uh, get more of their time and more assistance and what have you. But remember that independence is not really political as such. It's economic and uh, it will be axiomatic. Axiomatic. Everything working fine here, so Shani Brown. Excellent stuff, dinky do. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClure, live, first thing on a Monday morning, 
I know it's a lot to ask. It's a big ask to cope with this first thing on a Monday morning. But I say to you, dinky do, Get sharing. Share, 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 share. It came out and back in. It's working fine now. Of course, the internet has to wake up a little bit, doesn't it? The Monday morning, especially the Scottish internet, when it's had a very, very busy time with the Scotty McClue show the night before. Remember, I am the first lord of the internet. Excellent stuff. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Share this broadcast. Share it all day. Share it all week. Share it at random times. Uh, morning, Scotty. I'm just about to head to work. Good to see you in the morning. This is Andrew Mackay. Andrew, have a lovely day. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. I've got my breakfast tea here. Seize the day. Can you see that? Seize the day. There we are. Carpe deum. Oh. Ian Pugh's watching. Alan Stitt's watching, dinky do Alan. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And uh, I hope all is going well with you. So there you are. Now, folks, a little bit of housekeeping. Remember Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Get on there and subscribe. Just put Scotty McClue YouTube channel into your search engine, into Google, and it'll come up. Early start, Scotty, says Louis Faber. Absolutely, Louis. We thought we'd pop up. Just see who was about. Quick chat. And remind everybody to share last night. Because I know there was football on. A lot of people had uh, distractions. Richard Mackay is watching. Did you do, Richard? Lovely to have you with us. And Dave Humphrey, of course. Welcome, 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 I say, to the Scotty McClure Show. We're early in the morning. It's just a quick pop-up to say hi. Start the week. Get everything sorted. And find out where the big audiences are uh, on Facebook Live. We, of course, have a great audience a couple of weeks ago, 15,000 people just having a quick swatch at the Scotty McClue video. Good morning, says Beth Jenkins. And a week is good morning. Mwah. Lovely to have you with us, Beth. How fabulous is that? And um, it's great when people join us, as I say, because you're just not used to seeing me at this time. This is the first time we've ever done an early morning spot. Hi, Scotty, says Dave. Good morning, Dave. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent. So there's um, so little out there in the way of information, education, and entertainment. First thing in the morning. So what would be better for you than a good dose of Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, say dinky do to you. Last night's program's available. You'll see it on the page there. And if you can scroll down and scroll down and scroll down and uh, look for Scotty McClue show, 51. How about that, guys? Our 51st show last night. 51 shows. There's actually been a couple more, but I was a, at a secret location in the summer, of course. Can't divulge where I was. So I didn't count the shows that we did from there. Any Netflix recommendations, Scotty? Says Louis Faber. Well, fantastic stuff. I hear The Crown is very, very good. The Crown. So there you are. Get on to that. Excellent stuff. Uh, Michael Collins watching and uh, Daniel Watts watching. Dinky do, Daniel. Lovely to have you with us. First thing in the morning. I know it's early stuff, but as I say, it's rather a good idea just to see who's about, get the timings, what have you, because the evening show on Sunday is so successful. It's absolutely massive. If you're a business person, come on to LinkedIn and join Scotty McClue live on LinkedIn. So there you are. Look up Scotty McClue. You're on live, says Gordon Riley. We are Gordon. Yes, dinky do. And a very good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us. Off to the island of Guernsey for work, says Louis. Louis, enjoy it. You have to go where there's work. And if there's work on Guernsey, that is a bonus. So there you are. Uh, you can set up the McClue Trust there. Excellent. And uh, who else have we got? Yes, lots and lots of you joining us as we speak. I like that. And share and share and share everything with Scotty McClure on it, guys. Um, I know those of you who go, oh, for goodness sake, not McClure again. What does he want this time? Just share it. Same with Scotty McClure on Twitter. Follow Scotty McClure on Twitter and just share. Retweet, retweet, retweet. If you're a big media company, make sure you're retweeting Scotty McClue. Otherwise, you don't get the publicity. 
So if you're a newspaper or a television station or a radio station, you don't get the big push across the internet if you don't share or retweet Scotty McClue. That's how it works. Some of you are a little bit twee about that. So there you are. I think the only problem you'll have at this time of the morning is that people are getting ready for work, getting the kids ready for school. BJ, I accept all of that. I'm absolutely fine with it. I'm quite chilled. So there we are. If people just have a few moments to say hi, that's what it's about. That will set them up for the day. So there we are. So we're not, um, we don't really have a problem at all. <laughs> you say to me, the only problem you'll have in the morning, we don't actually have a problem at all. So there we go. Remember, if anyone's got a problem with Scotty McClue, that's their problem. Big style. Remo Pasiti is watching in Australia. What time do we have in Oz, Remo? Uh, do let us know. Uh, is the picture behind you Glenn Miller? Says Henry Newton. No, it's Scotty McClue, Henry. I'll take you around. There I am there. Scotty McClue. And there we go there. There's old Lord Reith. Fantastic stuff. If you'd like the lamp on so you can see your way to work, because I know it's getting darker earlier in the mornings, isn't it? There we are. We can pop that on for you. Excellent stuff. There we go. Um, good afternoon, Scotty, says Remo Pasiti. How fabulous. It's afternoon in Oz. Um, I bet you're sitting with that blue jumper and tie on and the hat. But if you stood up, you'd have uh, Pepper Pig PJs on. I may well do so. Uh, on my kilt, on my night shot. <laughs> uh, coming up for 2.30 p.m., says Remo. So there you are. Remo's in Australia, and it's half past two in the afternoon in Australia. How good is that? Dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us, guys, of course. Uh, keep sending your hearts, and keep sending love, and saying dinky-doo to Scotty McClure. Uh, Alfred James Wright watching. Good morning, Alfred James Wright. Lovely to have you with us, and uh, a happy Monday. There we go. Seize the day. Mm -hmm. Scotty McClue. Seize the day with my blue cup. Carpe diem. So there you go. Absolutely. Yes, you could You could do the show in the old PJs. You're quite right for that. How marvellous is that? Guys, remember to share, 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 share. Scotty McClue's show last night. Show number 51. Can you believe it's, uh, it's actually over a year since we did the first one. Andy McCrow is watching. Thank you, dear Andy. Lovely to have you with us. Um, Alfred James Wright, of course. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue. First thing in the morning. Well, it's not first thing in the morning. It's half past two in the afternoon in Australia. It'll be the middle of the night in America, of course. So there you are, Eastern Standard Time. We are at what? I'm just coming up to half past seven. I've got 27 minutes past seven here. But uh, that might be a little bit out. Big shout out for my wee me Joe, age four, says Gordon Riley. Little Joe, dinky do from Scotty McClue. First thing in the morning, just for you, Monday morning. Have a fabulous, fabulous day and a fabulous, fabulous week. So that's fantastic. Uh, what do your PJs look like? Show us, says VJ. Oh, there we are. I'm actually in my blue suit. My blue suit, ready for a day of business. Very, very busy. I'm maxed out at the moment. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to be able to do a lot of your functions and come and open this and open that, what have you, but I'm absolutely maxed out. If you want to book Scotty McClue for after dinner speaking of whatever, then you have to do it a good bit in advance, but always try us. Uh, and let's know what's happening. If you want me to do the voiceover in your advert, if you're uh, advertising on television and radio, you're very welcome. If you want me to appear in your advert, because if you want to advertise, you obviously go to a platform, television or radio station or on the internet. If you want to actually sell something, you get Scotty McClue involved. There you are. <laughs> I love all this, all the messages first thing in the morning. He liked that big time. Good morning right back at you, says Gordon Riley. A very good morning to you, Gordon Riley. Right back at you. Scotty McClure, first thing in the morning, just saying dinky-doo. Seeing who's about, of course, because there have been a lot of discussions. Why don't you do a breakfast show? Just 
15 minutes, something like that, 20 minutes, even half an hour in the morning and actually say to people, dinky-doo, here's what's happening. Remember, although Scotty McClue's appearing on television effectively, um, appearing on video, what uh, you can do is uh, just have the sound out. I uh, have the sound on, I should say. I spoke to a friend at the weekend. He said, I love your show. He said, if I didn't have to look at you, I would enjoy it even more. Is that not nice? Is that not friendship for you? So there we are. Scotty in the evening and then in the morning, people will start talking, says Alfred James Wright. Oh, Alfred James Wright. Could you imagine Scotty McClue having anything to do with talking? <laughs> Fantastic. There we are. Colin Rogers watching. A very good morning, Colin, and welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. Uh, breakfast pop-up, Monday morning breakfast pop-up, just to say hi to the nation. How are you? I've got my uh, breakfast cup of tea here. Mmm. Just had a lovely, uh, a lovely full breakfast, the full Scottish, of course. Very, very nice, and uh, we're very chipper for the day. So I thought I'd pop up and say hi to you. Marvellous stuff. A very warm welcome if you've just joined us. You won't be used to seeing me first thing in the morning, but I thought it was rather a good idea uh, because uh, last night there were distractions, the football was on, what have you. Uh, obviously one side, remember we are global, we're worldwide right now, so one side would be fed up and the other side would be delighted. And that's always the way with football. See, when you do voiceovers, do you keep the same accent or can you adapt? I do any voice under the sun. <clears throat> I'm a phonetician VJ, so whatever voice you require, Scotty McClue would do that for you. You might want a very low voice. You might want a voice down there. You might want a Liverpool accent, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of thing you do. You might want Yorkshire, do you know what I'm saying? You might want a Yorkshire accent. Scotty McClure doing your voice over. Lovely cup of tea, this. You can't beat it. That sort of thing. You might want Scotty McClure doing a North East accent for Aberdeen, away up in the north of Scotland. Gain you a bit of that, as if I was free uh, Peter Heed, or maybe the Broch, that kind of idea. Um, you might want me doing Geordie, as if I was from Newcastle. Gain you a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying, lad? Uh, that kind of idea. Uh, you might want me from Wales. I do Wales, you see. Very important. From the valleys. When my grandfather set up in the valley. Uh, you would take your jumper off just now, and then you'll get the benefit of it later. Whose coat is that jacket? Uh, that sort of idea. Uh, you might want me doing a soft Irish accent. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can smell it in the sea, and the mountain dew, and all the things that peat round about the south of Ireland. There you are. You might want me doing a slightly um, harder sound, as if I was from the north of Ireland. You know what I'm saying to you? You might want me doing in Australia. As if I was from Australia, fair dinkum, that's what I say. Um, you might want me um, doing South Africa. I could be from South Africa. You might want me doing, um, I am from Russia. I say to you, Previat, Previat, very important. You might want me doing a high voice. You might want me doing a very low voice. You might want me doing, good morning, here is the news. So there we are. So there's a whole variety of accents we do. Uh, you might want me doing, um, uh, from Canada. I'm from Canada. So there you are. Uh, you might want me doing New York. Just from the from the Queens, uh, that sort of idea. Uh, what was on the breakfast, Scotty? Uh, we had sliced sausage, we had uh, egg, we had um, a little well with two eggs actually. Okay, but keep that up your sleeve. Mum's the word I say, not a word about the two eggs, but with two eggs and with the sliced sausage, a little bit of mushrooms and a bit of tomato. Very nice. And we didn't have an, an Ulster Frey. We didn't have an Ulster Frey, you see, uh, with the porkers and some soda bread. That's an idea. Uh, very talented, says VJ. We can do you anything you like, VJ. We can do um, from Spain, from Madrid, from Barcelona. So there we are. Aberdeen, that's how you deal with cold collars on the phone. Answer it where fit can fair, uh, and uh, then they'll just 
hang up. So there you are. Um, excellent. I got a good one. Uh, always say to the caller, if it's a cold caller and they're selling you something you don't want, uh, ask them to, uh, to uh, what's their account number and ask them if they're wanting to pay in. So there you are. <laughs> and, uh, see what goes on there. So there you go. Um, marvellous stuff. Aberdeen. Aye, you can't have it. Aberdeen, I say. And um, then you have a softer one for uh, the West Coast, the West Coast of Scotland. Aye. <laughs> Marvel stuff. Right. That's a good range of accents. There must have been about um, maybe about 15 accents there, 15 different accents. We can do that. And there you are. And I don't know if you remember <coughs> the news one. I might have to finish my tea and show you it with a cup. Mm. There we are. I'll show you this in a minute. Marvelous stuff. So there we go. Uh, Gavin Fitzsackley uh, is watching. Fizakli. So there we are. Have I said it right? Down in Liverpool? Fizakli? Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't do my landing, did I? No. No. Yeah. I can do that. It's not a problem. I once phoned a London station. He said, no, you've got a Scottish accent. Whew. I don't know. Wallark. <laughs> so there we are. Right. That's what we're looking at now. I'll do this as well. Ooh. Do you remember when you used to put on your radio, and it was a big wooden radio, and it gave you this sound. This is the home service. Now the news. Doot, doot, doot. Good morning. This is the news. Do you remember that? Do you remember that actual sound that you used to get? Good morning, good morning, this is Richard here. Lovely to have you with us, Richard. Did you do? Gordon Riley, top of the morning. You must go. I must dash. I must dash off, but lovely to have you with us. I really just popped up to see who it was about and to say, can you share last night's show? Show number 51, Scotty McClue. Now, I know it's a big ask. You're like, oh, here's McClue wanting stuff shared, but don't do attitude. Just say, no, listen, that's fine. Anything with Scotty McClue on it, it's got my vote. I'll share it. Not a problem. Excellent stuff. Uh, Andrew Spaxman, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Morning, Scotty, says Sean Moore. Excellent, Sean. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Every single one of you, I wish you well. Excellent stuff. I don't mind all these wonderful discussions. Remember, there's never a need to fall out. You can put your point on Scotty McClue. Let the people speak. That is my motto. Hink vira virtus with this program. From this place comes true virtue. That's what we're talking about there. Uh, good morning to you all. Lovely to have you with us. As I say, quick pop up, just to say share, share, share. If you're feeling flush and you want to contribute to the Scotty McClue shows, we're talking small amounts, a couple of pounds, five or a tenner, that kind of thing, you'll see the links on the Scotty McClue website www.scotty-mcclue.com there's a GoFundMe and a PayPal and if you think, yeah, I can spare Scotty a fiver, that's not a problem then uh, just stick it in there, you're very very uh, welcome and thank you thank you, thank you, it just keeps everything going, allows us to do a little bit of advertising and uh, allows us to buy little bits of equipment and what have you, if enough of you do it, we can build the world's top talk show um, so there we are. Good morning to all of you. Again, wonderful to have you with us. Uh, remember, if you're a business person, LinkedIn is the one for you. If you've got a LinkedIn account, link in with Scotty McClue. You'll see that there. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. You can follow me on Periscope. Periscope broadcast big, big numbers on Periscope as well. Fantastic. So there you are. It'd be great to see you at the Earl of Zetland. Open mic in Greensmouth when you get free time. That was very, very kind of you, VJ, to invite me there the other night. Very much appreciated. Uh, sometimes I wish, I wish there was a hundred of me. Nobody else does, of course, but that doesn't matter because there's so much work out there. People wanting informed, educated, and entertained. And, of course, I do everything. From a little bit of stand-up, well, I usually get asked to sit down, but a uh, little bit of stand-up, um, public speaking, very important speeches. So there we are. We can make 
um, inspirational speeches at big, big, big conferences for international business. Or we could just have a laugh with a few friends. An evening with Scotty McClue. That sort of idea. Current affairs, politics, news, discussion of the day, comedy, laughter, fun. We do everything. When people say, what is Scotty though? Is he is he a comedian? Is he um, a current affairs man? Is he a politician? Is he um, a serious broadcaster? Is he a radio man? Is he a television man? Is he a stand-up man? Is he a comic actor? Uh, does he do voices? Does he do accents? Well, you heard it all this morning. The answer is yes. All right, so there you are. I'm just Scotty McClue. That's what you get. It makes me laugh. Very often from America, people say, what is your target audience? Everyone. 1.8 billion people on Facebook. That's my target audience. All right. What are you? What is your genre? Are you comedy? Are you current affairs? Are you serious? Are you funny? I'm me, Scotty McClure. That's the genre. So there you go. Uh, Eric McKenzie, Dinky Doo, Angie McMurdo McCree. Angie McMurdo McCree, lovely, lovely to hear from you, of course. Uh, Eric McKenzie, good afternoon, Scotty. How are you? Says Eric Meyer, uh, a great chap in Australia. So there we are. And we said uh, we said good night to you, Erica. And now we're saying good morning. Well, we said good morning, good day. There's Marcy Puffin, fabulous lady, Marcy Dinky Doo. Thank you so much. For all your hard work on social media with Scotty McClue, all your sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. In fact, we have a share point right now, guys. So can you share? Very important. Uh, there we are. I've got 20 minutes to eight here in the United Kingdom, British summer time, soon to become Greenwich Mean Time. A lot of you will be watching Eastern Standard Time, Australia time, of course. Uh, you're very wise. That's what you are, says Erica. You are a top chap. That's what I say. Uh, you're up early, says Angie. Yes, always up early, Angie, of course, because very, very busy. Maxed out at the moment, but there we are. That is life. That's the way we like it. We wouldn't have it any other way. If you enjoy what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. <laughs> John Rafferty is watching. Dinky Doo. Sean Moore. Dinky Doo. A very good morning to you, Sean. Lovely to have you. Erica says it's 5.40 p.m. here, Scotty. Tea time. Supper time. There are. Have you noticed? If you go to the north of England, it's your supper. You get your supper. What time do the suppers start here? There you are. Uh, so you get your supper. You get your tea in Scotland. And, of course, if you have a little bit of the la di da in you, you'll get dinner. So there we are. Also, we had a great meal in Scotland. You don't see it so much, but it was called a high tea. I don't know if you've ever had a high tea. And you could actually pop into most Scottish hotels around five o'clock in the evening. Get yourself a little bit of bacon and egg, if that's what your thing is, or uh, a little bit of fish. Um, fish and chips, and then cakes and buns and lashings of tea. And that was a Scottish high tea. Does any, anybody remember? Anybody remember the Scottish high tea? Or is McClue starting to show his age here? I ask you. John Rafferty, fantastic stuff. Um, I hope you're having a good day, guys. A very, very warm welcome. You've just joined Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Welcome, 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 I say. We call it tea, or some call it dinner, says Erica. Now, the ones that call it dinner, uh, are they got a touch of the la-dee-da about them, Erica? Are they, what we see in Scotland, big hoose, big hoose. There we are, although not the big hoose. You know what I'm saying? Uh, looking forward to the snow, Scotty. It'll not be long now, says Lee. You always notice, Lee, usually early November, you come out and suddenly the whole car is frosted up solid and you've not allowed yourself enough time. Now, remember, if the car's frosted up solid, there's every chance the roads will be slippery and dangerous. So do take care, guys, if you're driving in the winter, 
leave yourself plenty of time to get out there. At the moment in Scotland, it's relatively mild, and uh, what we can do, we can do with just a wipe down of the windows before we take off. So there we are. Upper class, says Erica. Thank you, Erica. I thought you were. And uh, me too, of course. <laughs> oh, my nose is growing. Pinocchio. Uh, there we are. Um, so all that stuff. Yes, I understand. It, it is It is. Uh, it is the yar. The yar that we've got there that, uh, that are having dinner. Tremendous stuff. Now, uh, a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up on Monday morning. Those of you who are joining us all the time, great to have you with us. You'll all be dashing out to work and getting your young people ready, of course. So I shan't hang about too much longer. But I just wanted to pop up and say hi. And also to remind you to share the big one. Scotty McClure's Sunday Night Show live on Facebook Live. Show number 51. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. There we are. Share this as well, guys. I just say, McClue's about. Dinky do. Uh, Stuart McKenna watching. A very warm welcome, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from everyone here at Scotty McClue on Monday morning at a quarter to eight in the morning. Time. You're all getting ready to go. Uh, so there we are. The uh, the snow comes at various times throughout the world, of course. Good to see you this early, Scotty. You don't normally broadcast at this time, do you? No, Lee, I don't. This is the first time we've done it. If you remember, there was a bit of mooting over, could we do a breakfast show in the morning? Just 15 minutes, 20 minutes, the order of the day. Cheer the world up a bit so they weren't getting depressing news uh, and all that kind of stuff. Yes, everyone take care on the road. I work in car insurance, says Andrew. Well, Andrew, you'll know what is what, I can say. Sorry, frost, says Alan Askew. Absolutely, the frost, that's the one. Uh, right, there we go. It's time. Uh, Tom Campbell's watching. Welcome, Tom. Dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure. I hope everyone is watching and that you're having a great morning. We just decided to do a pop-up. Stuart McKenna there. And... Um, who have we got? Alan Humphreys. A big warm welcome to you from me, Scotty McClue, and everyone on Facebook Live. Guys, remember this show is going out global, and it will gather moss as the day and the week goes on. But all of you on Facebook, please, I beg of you, share, 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 all the time. You can never have too much Scotty McClue regardless of what you think, because once you process what I said, you then think, do you know, that's right. He's absolutely right. So there you are. Have you always been in broadcasting, or did you do anything different before that, says VJ? Yes, the world needs a lot of laughter, says Erica. It does indeed, Erica. Dinky do to you, I say. Um, no, I've done a variety of things. I've worked on boats. I've worked in banks. I've uh, been an actor, a writer. A broadcaster, I am an actor, a writer, a broadcaster, an entertainer, um, a chairman, a host, an after-dinner speaker, I lecture, I teach, I coach, I take very, very senior people and work on their presentation. No names, no pack drill, but I'm looking at a couple of senior politicians that could do with a few hours with Scotty McClue just to get their act together. Remember, it's a shame, but the politicians don't seem to realise that the way to the people's hearts is through the Scotty McClure National Mighty Mega Phone In. So if we had a national phone in programme on radio or television, I would say one of the television companies should pick this up because it's a superb idea. Put Scotty McClure on like this, either first thing in the morning, last thing at night, during the day, and get the people on the telephone and talk to them. Don't bother about scripting or formats or anything like that. Have it totally unscripted. Have you noticed people in television, particularly if anybody's watching breakfast television at the moment, they'll be re reading an auto cue. So they'll be reading all the time. McClue is totally unscripted. So there you are. I hate the slushy stuff. The snow when it starts 
melting, says Lee. Yes, yes. Nightmare, you start, you, you can go uh, on your backside if you're not careful. Yes, I couldn't agree more, says Erica. So we're wanting unscripted broadcasting, unscripted television delivered to the people and phones. I mean, some of these big television companies own phones as well. I won't name them, you know, I wouldn't be so base as to name them, but they've got phones, so you can have your phone with them. They could provide the phones for the Scotty McClue show, and it would be massive. If you think that I was going out to quarter of a million people on a 2.2 million transmission survey area, so well over 10% of the whole population were watching or listening to Scotty McClue at the one time. On Facebook Live, the potential audience is 1.8 billion. There's no reason why all of them can't dip in and out of Scotty McClue. So there you are. So that's what we're looking at here. So when people say, what's this man doing? Right? I've read the news for ITV. I've um, appeared on programs. I've done interviews. I've interviewed people. I've been interviewed. Hey, have a look out for the interview for uh, Shelley McRobbie. There's a, there's a name now, and you have a look for that one. Very, very important. Um, Radio Telstar International. And I did a, an interview for them this week, and you'll see that on your Facebook page. Get listening to that. Very, very important. Uh, you should team up with Russell Brand, says VG. Absolutely, we can do all that. Big, big, big comedy or big, big street stuff. It doesn't matter, but when you mix all together, you get the Scotty McClue show. And that's what it's all about. So there you are. Information, education, entertainment. You'll never, ever, ever get bored or tired of watching a Scotty McClue show. So there you are. You might shout back at your screen, get off, you old fool, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't you see that? It doesn't matter. Everyone's got an opinion and we want to hear it. Otherwise, every single word that your politicians say will just fall on stony ground because the people don't understand. They're not interested, right? They need to speak to one of their own. They need to speak to Scotty McClue. They need to speak to me. And then they're comfortable at putting across their opinion, their thoughts, their ideas. And the politicians can pick that up as real, genuine feedback. So there you are. Uh, so that's what goes on. I mean, some of the late night phone-ins, we saved lives. We talked to people who were really in deep trouble. We uh, mitigated loneliness right across. You're talking millions and millions of listeners. So there you are, fantastic stuff. Uh, how could you get bored listening to a very wise man, says Erica. You could have too much of a good thing, Erica. You know, all that sort of stuff. But I think it's important that they look at that. And until then, you're just there standing up in the various parliaments and all the rest of it. And they're wasting their breath. Because the people are saying, I don't know. I don't know anything about what they're at. I don't know who's a good government and who's not. They're then also telling their, well, I was going to say telling whoppers. They're not. They're misconstruing the truth very often when it comes to important referenda. So there you are. That's not good either. So we do need to have a few facts and figures out there. Uh, excellent stuff. So, right, what is the time? Oh, my goodness me. It's coming up to 8 o'clock, guys. Uh, you've got about five minutes till 8 o'clock. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, there we are. I'll, uh, Martin Kellner's watching Dinky Doo, one of our finest broadcasters in the country. Martin, a very, very, very big name in broadcasting and uh, a great guy as well. So there you are. I am a huge fan. Uh, what I think I might do is uh, I just popped up to say to do the very first Scotty McClure show, first thing in the morning, breakfast show. I'm just moving back here because I've got the box and I was going to play uh, my song on the box. How about that? There you are, you like that. So there you 
while the goodbye song from Scotty McClure Dinky Doo. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for joining us. Tremendous to be with you. Andrew Hiddleston's watching Dinky Doo, Andrew. Good morning, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Paul Crookshanks. Thank you so much, Scotty. You're too kind, says Martin Kellner. Not at all, Martin. You're a wonderful guy. And a big, big thank you to everything that you've done for the industry over the years and for all of us. You are an example to us all, Martin. So there's the truth for you. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. So there you go. Right, everybody, I'm going to push off now. As I say, it's coming up to 8 o'clock. Morning, Scotty, says Andrew Hiddleston. Dinky-doo. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Dinky-doo to you, says Paul Crookshanks. And uh, John Baird's watching. Dinky-doo, John. Lovely to have you with us as well. Everybody's getting up now and coming and joining us. Oh, there's Scotty McLuhan. I'll just see what the big man's saying. Uh, that sort of idea. Have a great day. Have a great week. This is Scotty McClure saying thanks very much for watching. Now get sharing and dinky-doo. Scotty McClure has left the building. Oh.